Hello and welcome to the Redstone Lab. Today I'll be demonstrating a rather complicated piece of redstone circuitry called a shift register. In this case this is a 4-bit shift register based on the example implementation uh, on Wikipedia. Um, here's a link. Uh, so it works by you take four inputs and it will read them out one, two, three, four in order and output them on this single wire here where you could then read them with a similar device that performs the opposite operation and outputs it on four wires again. Uh, the encoding is a much more complicated device, and I've, so I've chosen to do that as the first example. Um, key details of the feature are that I'm using on as zero. Um, there's a couple reasons for that that I'll explain later, and off as one. So in this case, I've set it up already to send the message one, zero, one, zero. And when I flip this switch to send it, I'll jump up and you'll be able to see it ripple through the system. There it goes, 1010. One, zero, one, zero. Now that may have been too fast to see exactly how it goes, so I'm going to set a different message, put it back into set mode so that it doesn't keep sending what I input, and change it. I'm going to do 0001 zero, 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 so that I have time to get in position to show you. Here we go. And you see it moving through, it's the dark patch, and there the message is done being sent. Um, this it uses a simple three block wide pattern that can be repeated any number of times to make a longer message should you wish. Um, some details of the circuitry is that it currently uses an eight clock uh, which is an eight tick timer um, to increment it. Um, this is because the D flip flops are clocked. These are D flip flops this section here that I'm pointing at. Uh, it comes from the reference design on the Minecraft wiki. Um, it also, this jumble of stone here is a collection of NAND gates, three per bit exactly, um, that control the logic. Again, you should look at the circuit diagram on Wikipedia for an explanation of how this is wired up. Uh, let's go up to a cutaway of what one of the bits look, sections look like. So as we can see, each section is three blocks wide and quite deep and quite high. Um, but the three block pattern makes it easy to repeat as many times as you need. So here we have the set value switch for each one. And you can see here I've labeled how each line connects to the line of the adjacent cell. So I'm just going to do a fly around and show you roughly how it's laid out. It's uh, pretty simple, really, once you take apart the constituent components. I hope to have an example posted on the Minecraft wiki. However, their tools aren't the greatest for very 3D setups like this. Um, I'll also show you what the triple NAND gates look like. So as I mentioned, each cell has a three NAND gates in it. Um, this equates to four inputs, A, B, C, and D. Um, the first two NAND gates are stacked one on top of the other. Their outputs then get fed into the third NAND gate. Uh, you can see Y equals the inverse of C and D. X equals the inverse of A and B. And Z equals the inverse of X and Y. I'll just do a fly around to show you what this looks like. Um, this is again using NAND gate implementation I got from the Minecraft wiki. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Once again, I, I can't stress it enough. You should look at the uh, Wikipedia article on shift registers for an explanation of how this works and what it can be used for. Um, again, this design can be repeated ar an arbitrary number of times to make messages as long or as short as you want. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you and happy building!